And as we honor our military members who served this Veteran Day, we want to take a moment to recognize a man who spent decades working to make sure local veterans and their families have a cemetery close to home. Retired Army Colonel Vic Fernandez was instrumental in bringing the Pikes Peak National Cemetery to Colorado Springs. Tonight, we're honoring his mission alongside many others who made it possible and showing veterans and their families they are not alone when the time comes to choose a final resting place. Our brother Vic has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope and eternal life, let us assist them with our prayers. Retired Army Colonel Vic Fernandez was buried last month in the cemetery he pushed to build in Colorado Springs. I was privy to 20 years of struggle, work, and dedication, and finally accomplishment of the resting place for his fellow veterans. Just look at this beautiful veteran cemetery. It is his legacy. He's really a legend among veterans in Colorado. Congressman Doug Lamborn worked alongside Fernandez to bring the cemetery to the Springs. Lamborn introduced his first bill in 2007 to make it happen. But Lamborn and everyone involved, including former Congressman John Salazar, kept hitting roadblocks with the VA. A lot of it is political, but, you know, I tried for many years uh, to try to get that passed. Congressman Lamborn was able to get through the final um, issues there. The Veterans Administration is very bureaucratic and there's lots of red tape. They had a 75 mile rule that said that if you're within 75 miles of an existing cemetery, you can't build another cemetery. That meant Fort Logan in Denver was too close. So they asked the undersecretary for the VA to come to Colorado to talk about it. When he hit Monument Hill in a snowstorm, he finally realized just how dangerous it can be for drivers to travel north. When he was coming from the airport to the hearing, a snow, summer snow squall hit him. He almost didn't make it. Okay, here we are. Colorado State Representative Mary Bradfield knows how long and often dangerous that drive can be. Her late husband, Dennis, died in 2010. He was originally buried at Fort Logan, but she had his remains moved to the Springs so his gravesite would be closer to her. And I thought, why not? Uh, I live right over here, not too far away, and uh, this seems like uh, this is a better spot. And I look here and I think of all these other men and women who uh, served in one way or another um, and have uh, a final place. Uh, I'm grateful for that. We receive remains from other cemeteries on a regular basis. Cemetery director Skylar Holmes says there's no cost to be buried at the cemetery thanks to the service of each selfless veteran. The first step is for the family, the next of kin, or the funeral home to contact the scheduling office in St. Louis, Missouri. 2,800 veterans and their families are buried here so far, an accomplishment of so many determined people, including humble veterans like Vic Fernandez. Eternal rest run out to him, O Lord, and let perpetual life stand upon him. The Pikes Peak National Cemetery is located on Drennan Road in Colorado Springs. It's southeast of the Springs Airport. It will eventually be the final resting place for 95,000 veterans and family members. If you'd like more information about eligibility, go to the story at KOAA.com. A great tribute that was. Nice job. So special what they've Absolutely. done for so many people. It took so much work, decades of work, to get that done. But a snowstorm right? finally made it happen. That was the moment. There's, uh, Congressman well, Lamaron said to me, I think it was providential <laughs> at that point to have something like that happen. Whatever made it happen. It worked. Bottom line, great, great.